So let's talk about standard form. First of all, what is standard form? Standard form is AX plus BY equals C. You have to have all whole numbers and A must be positive. So that's the two rules you need to know about standard form. So what you're going to do is you're going to move this across. When it moves across, if it's negative and I move it over, it's going to change to what? Positive. So you're going to put a positive 3 over 2x plus 1y equals 4. And then what do you have to multiply this equation by to get rid of the 2? 2. By positive 2. Go ahead and multiply this entire thing by positive 2. So pick up your calculators and multiply it. And I am going to have the answer key posted, so I'm not going to go through every question. The ones I don't go through, make sure you get on Canvas and look at the other answers. So you should get 3x plus 2y equals 8. That is your equation in standard form. <clears throat> For question number two, we have two parts. First step, to write an equation in point slope, point slope is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And you have three numbers that you have to substitute in. Your x, your x, your y, and your slope. So what I want you to do first is go ahead and label your two ordered pairs. Label this one x1, y1. So this is x1, y1. And this point is x2, y2. So let's go ahead and find your slope. So this is your formula you're going to use to find the slope. Go ahead and find the slope. Using those four points, find the slope. So what is y2? y2 is 6 <clears throat> minus y1. Cortez, what's y1? 2. 2. And that's over x2 growing. What's x2? Six. 4. four. Minus Ricky, what's X1? What's X1? N negative 3. Whenever you see two negatives, it changes to a positive. So that would be 6 minus 2 over 4 plus 3, which is 4 over 7. That's your slope. So now we're ready to substitute in. 
So my equation would be y minus y1, which is 2, equals your slope, which we figured out is 4 over 7, and then x minus negative 3. And what happens when you have two negatives together? What does it change to? Addition. Good. So the final answer I'm looking for on the test would be y minus 2 equals 4 over 7 times x plus 3. Let's look at question number four. Go ahead and match which equation is standard form, which one is point slope, which one is slope intercept. So figure out which one is A, which one is B, and which one is C. So that's just matching. Match the equation with this form. So which one is standard form, A, B, or C? B. Which one is slope intercept form? A. And which one is point slope? C. All right, that's the easy points tomorrow, or Thursday. Let's look at question five. So we have a graph. This is your x-intercept, where I put that red dot. What is x equal where I put the red dot? 10. 10. And what this means is there are 10 gift baskets when, and what does Y represent? What does that say? Chocolates remaining. When there are zero chocolates remaining. That's the meaning. Because remember, your x-intercept represents 10, zero. X is 10, y is zero. Your y-intercept would be right here. So, Alan, what's our y-intercept? 60. So that means we have 60 chocolates when there are how many baskets? Zero baskets. Okay, let's look at number six. Six is slope intercept form, so that would be y equals mx plus b. Kind of skipping around a little bit. And when you see this on the test, you just have to solve it for y. So for this first one, I'm going to subtract. So right now, this is what we call standard form. This is standard form, and I wanna put it in slope intercept form. So what I'm gonna do first is subtract the 4x. So 7y equals negative 4x minus 14. 
And then what do you have to do to get rid of that seven? Divide everything by seven. So your equation would be y equals negative four sevenths x minus two. And on the test, you have to tell me the slope and the y-intercept. So go ahead and add that. Fill in the blank. What number is the slope? What number is your y-intercept? Remember, the number in front of x is your slope. So that would be negative 4 over 7. And your y-intercept would just be negative 2. All right, go ahead and do number 8 by yourself. Did I say 8? 6B. I'm sorry, y'all. My brain is not really fully awake. Can you do 6B by yourself, the second one? <clears throat> so you're just subtracting the 8X and dividing everything by 4. That's your two steps. So you should get y equals negative 2x plus 3. Who had that? All right, good. And then what would you say for your slope? What is your slope? Negative 2. And what's your y-intercept? 3. All right, let's pick one more to do today. Um, let's look at 7a. Now that's just solving an equation. So 7a, you would distribute the four. So that would be 12x minus four minus 10x equals 12. Then you would combine your like terms. So these two both have an X. So you can add them together. You're gonna to take 12 minus 10 and 12 minus 10 is two. Now what are you gonna do? Add the four, good job. And then your last step, divide by two. So what's 16 divided by two? Eight. Now for an absolute value, so we'll skip down to C, that's a little different. Because when you see that on the test, then you have two answers. So let's do C and then we'll end there. You can use the rest of the time to finish your study guide and to either finish homework three or finish your study guide. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you have to get this by itself. So I'm gonna start by adding the five. Let's add five. So that would be two times the absolute value of X minus three equals 14.
And then what about that two in front of the absolute value? You got to divide it. You cannot. So what you can't do, you see how in A, in A I could distribute into the parentheses. But in C, that's an absolute value. You cannot distribute. So what you cannot do, you can't do this. That's not allowed for absolute value. We have to divide it. So we have the absolute value of x minus 3 equals 7. Because it's an absolute value, we're going to break it apart to two equations. My first equation would be x minus 3 equals positive 7. And my second one is x minus 3 equals what? Negative 7. Go ahead and solve it. So I'm looking for two answers. So I'm adding the three. And on this one, I'm also adding the three. So go ahead, pick up your calculators. Figure out what seven plus three is and negative seven plus three. So you should get 10 and negative 4. Who got that? And that would be your two solutions. All right, so what I recommend you all do, if you haven't already, is do question B and question D. And also do question 1B. Tomorrow we'll do question 3. Yeah, we'll do question three tomorrow.